Well, Reading haven't won in their last four outings since they put nine past Exeter in the EFL Trophy. They're back in this competition once again on match day two of the group stage. So they get set to host Swindon Town in that stand this evening. Chorus of cheers for the hosts around the select car leasing stadium, obviously formerly known as the Madstad, warmingly to these fans. They might have something to celebrate early here, but Kairou sends it wide of the target. An early warning sign for this Swindon Town defence that Reading are perhaps going to go fairly gung-ho tonight. Kairou turns away from trouble, finds his fullback. It's a lovely piece of control, but wide of the target from Wareham. Got it down well, just perhaps a little too close to his body as he had the crack on goal. Just couldn't get his foot around it and fire it on target. Vickers wanting it, Vickers getting it. And he does really well, and here's the fullback again, Yedem. Ward just about keeping Reading out right now but it's only just the onslaught continues for the Swindon defence to deal with. Lovely little ball inside. Vickers. Plenty of options inside the box. Fires it across goal and it's palmed away by the keeper. Was it a shot? Was it a cross? Either way, it was still a problem. Which gives it back. It's going to sit up again for Wareham, and that time the spectacular effort. Safely away from goal. And the only thing he could do with the ball bouncing in that sort of position. Oh, off target in the end, that would have been a spectacular way to break the deadlock. Wareham. Vickers charging through the middle. Mshesha shifted across. Clipped into the box, it's going to fall kindly here for Harvey Nibs. Well, it's been coming. That is plain and clear to see. And the Royals are rocking tonight. Composed inside the area, a ricochet off the defender that doesn't help the goalkeeper. Reading have the breakthrough after 19 minutes. Shade. Shifts it onto the right boot, but doesn't have the bend on it. The accuracy in the end, it was always sailing over. Just looking for that far corner. Not even close. Vickers. Combination play. Get him on the edge of the area and it's fizzing away from goal. Ward just watching it sail away from his right hand post. I get the feeling that they want more tonight. Great high press. Lucas comes away with it. Plenty in support. Wareham once more onto the right boot and into the keeper's hands. Everything he can to get his shot off. Craig turns away from trouble. And Shesha. Next gives it inside. Vickers back out. To the wing position, and it's a beautiful header. Harvey Nibs has his and his side second. Lovely celebration and a suit. And Reading double their advantage just before half time.
There's no respite at the moment for the visitors. Pinned inside their own half. Reading are running the show. And it's a show that I don't think the Swindon Town supporters want to see much more of, and it's going to get worse here tonight for them as well. That's a penalty. A lunging challenge. It's a poor one, to say the least, by Genesini. And Nibs steps up. Hat-trick in under 50 minutes. First of his senior career. He can put that ball down and pick it up at the end of the 90. You get the feeling Reading are going to have three points at the end of this 90 as well. They're 3-0 up, and that man's got all three tonight. And he and his side have been superb. Looking for room on the edge of the area. No clear way through, and that's not going to trouble David Button at all. Austin the substitute. Half a chance at goal, but that's all it really was. A bit of space suddenly. Genesini, and it's up and away. And they need something spectacular to get back into this. That certainly isn't it. Free kick. Perhaps a chance from distance. It's a long way out. It's an easy collection for Button. He's going to eat those up all day long. Poor clearance, to say the least, from Shesha. Chance, perhaps, for Reading to try and find a fourth. It's a lovely little past effort that's just about into the hands of Ward. There's no let-up from the host right now. Hart immediately under pressure. This is every single red shirt. Kairou feeds it in. And the last gasp defensive block just keeps out where and once more hasn't had the luck in front of goal. Kairou down the left, cutting in on the right. Free kick given. It's well struck, it's off the post. Turned in from close range by the man that won the set piece. Paulomo Mukairu makes it 4 0. Stoppage time, sees Reading get another. And it feels like rubbing salt into the wounds here. Ward gives it short. Even the visitors just want the full time whistle here. Might be another though, over the top in the end by Wareham. He's not getting the luck tonight. It was via the hand of Ward as well, so it will be a corner still. Time to just whittle away the last few seconds off the clock here, but still keeping the pressure on. They're relentless, they can smell blood in the water, Reading. They're like sharks right now. Aziz gives it inside, wing, clips it, it's a free header, it's Harley Dean. Off the bench and onto the score sheet. And that really is the killing blow, surely. Time to put this one to bed, you feel. No more stoppage time surely needed, we have six minutes already. Chance for another here, surely. And Ward is called upon. For the umpteenth time. He's earned his keep tonight, even if many in red haven't. And Dean with the header. Almost a second for him from the set piece. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Surely it now. Chance maybe. 
to get the ball back in play. I don't think we need it, and that is the full-time whistle. It's a something, to say the least. Reading on home soil. Put five goals past Swindon Town in the EFL Trophy. Their impressive form in this competition continues here. And finishes Reading 5, Swindon Town 0.